So the day we've had today is uh, I've spent the day primarily with the speed group. So what we've done is we've grouped the players together in terms of their needs and requirements as players because one player will need a completely different type of training to another player. Some might need speed training more than others that might need strength training. Others might need more power based training. So today I've spent most of my day with the speed group uh, and that started with a morning session. Uh, one of the players in the speed group was doing a, a, a sort of striding session, a sprint technique session for his speed and then we did some injury prevention work just after that. They then worked on some weights training to improve the muscles ability to produce force and therefore improve their speed. So we did a weight session this morning. As we can see they're now out on the court doing their movement, their tennis specific movement work. And then this afternoon there'll be some sprint work on the bike for them just to take the impact out of their legs a little bit, and give their joints a little bit of a rest, but still work their heart and lungs to prepare for speed training. So they're going to do some sprint work on the bike. So that'll be this afternoon's torture for those players. And how long do the sessions last? For example, how long will a weight session typically last for the players? Uh, around about an hour of good quality lifting. Um, we find that a little bit, anything longer than that, you're starting to get a bit of a sort of diminishing returns, you know, they're starting to get a bit tired and the quality of the work starts to dip. So we'd rather train them for three or four separate hours in the day rather than one three hour session because of the quality that we still want at the end of the session should be as good as the, uh, as the first rep of the day. So, uh, so we're breaking it up in, in terms of the sessions uh, and hopefully achieving the best possible quality of training for the players. And obviously we're in the second of a six week uh, off-season training bot for the players so the next four weeks what can we expect what, what um, can the players expect yeah you? well it's a good question they'll, they'll start to increase the amount of tennis they play as, as we get closer into 2011 their preparations for 2011 start here you know how good a start they have to the year very much depends on the success of this block so we'll start to creep a little bit more tennis in towards the end of the block so that they don't hit 2011 with a lack of tennis court hours um, and the physical work will still continue to be uh, to be quite difficult. 